What's happening, my Jack family? Coach Scott here. Welcome to another episode of the Jack That's for Life vlog, where I take you along behind the scenes with me, sharing every meal I eat for the day, footage from my training, my overall active lifestyle, and today I'd like to have a discussion on thriving in all aspects of life. Like, more than anything, I want to hear from you down in the comment section below. What would an ideal day look like for you? Like, what are all the things that you could do throughout the day that allow you to thrive, to be at your best, be the best version of yourself? That's what I'm going to be sharing throughout my day, all the different, basically, I'm going to try to create, do my best to create the best possible day today where I thrive in all aspects of life. So I hope you enjoy this footage. If you do, please do me a favor, smash that thumbs up button. I'd really, really appreciate it. And if you know a fellow bro who would benefit from watching today's video, please do me a favor and share it with them. Let's get to the footage and have a fun, thriving day where we become the best versions of ourselves. So if I'm going to thrive today and be the absolute best version of myself, the number one thing I got to do begins the night before. Get a great night of quality sleep. I've been drilling this home to you guys for a very long time and sharing it quite often in these Jack Tech for Life vlogs and videos that I can get by on seven, seven and a half hours of sleep, but I thrive from getting eight to nine hours of sleep. Now, nine hours doesn't happen too often. It's usually if I'm completely exhausted, it's been a crazy busy day and I crash early, but eight and a half hours is my sweet spot. That's definitely what I aim for. Uh, and I've been hitting, I've been crushing my sleep all week long, averaging eight and a half hours, and I am just freaking thriving. I'm waking up just amped up for the day. When I get eight and a half hours of sleep, I forget, make me, my mood is elevated. My focus is never more clear. My productivity is through the roof. My performance is absolutely on point with all I'm doing throughout the day. Get, it's when I can give the best of myself to this world, and that's what life is all about. Being of service to you guys, um, and just trying to make a positive impact on all the people I come in contact with. So sleep is where things kick off. I'm on to my second cup of coffee right now. Um, I'm absolutely loving this Muskoka coffee uh, in the French press that Noel got me for Christmas with just a little splash of almond and coconut milk and so uh, with the first cup of coffee well while while it's while it's sitting in the French press I do my my journaling as you guys been seeing I condensed it to um, just one page and shortened up to about five minutes and then I spent just a, a few minutes just visualizing the best version of myself that's how it begins like you gotta you gotta have an image like what does the best version of me do throughout the day of course it begins with a night's sleep it's it's being laser focused it's engaging it's listening it's all the things I'm going to be sharing with you today, just picturing what does the best version of myself do throughout the day? How am I going to respond throughout the day? So um, that sets the tone for the day. And then I do my deep work, 90 minutes of deep work. So I just finished that here. It is 740. So uh, 90 minutes of deep work as I'm getting ready to record this. And I'm just super, super productive. So I'm doing what is most important? The most important thing that I need to get done today gets done in that first 90 minutes. It feels like checking that box off right off the right off the bat just um, feels like a huge sense of accomplishment. It really sets the tone for uh, the rest of my day. So I'm going to enjoy this coffee. I will now check my phone so it, don't turn it on when I wake up. I get into doing all of these things. So I'll see if there's any important messages I need to respond to, and then I'm going to do 10 minute to have a 10 minute break. Pet chief. Play some tug with him, throw the ball to him, just take a complete break to recharge my brain and then get back to work. So I'm going to enjoy this coffee, do that stuff, and we'll get back in a moment. Chief and I just got in from a gorgeous morning walk. The sun is shining, nothing but blue skies out there. Uh, it's super calm. There's no wind, which is making this cold uh, a little more bearable. Uh, I've been thinking a lot the, the past uh, week during our walks out there, how as I'm, as I'm aging, I find I'm tolerating the cold a lot less. Uh, and I found myself during my walk today thinking, man, I, I can definitely see myself either becoming a snowbird where I just travel to someplace warm uh, during the winter months or just move somewhere where the winters are more milder, like in Canada somewhere. West Coast Canada has definitely been on my mind um, a lot lately, especially since I have great friends out there. Um, some of my best friends are out in, in Vancouver, got family in Vancouver. Uh, my best friend who lives here, Joe, uh, he lived in Vancouver for a while. He may even be moving back there. So uh, we, him and I talk a lot about the West Coast and how much he loved it there. I've been many times and uh, definitely 
there's a big part of my heart that's in in that area it's always been uh, great to me so that's been on my mind and, and again that's um I had to catch myself because those thoughts, I mean, those are good thoughts to have, like thinking of, oh, where, where's, I wonder how life's going to unfold for me, where I'm going to end up. And, uh, but then that leads into like, start thinking about work and start thinking about other things. And like, I caught myself frequently throughout this walk this morning. And I find myself doing that a lot is I'll catch myself with those kind of thoughts and think, all right, what would the best version of Scott do in this moment? And the best version of me would ground myself in this very moment. Like, it's so funny because we, like I, for me personally, like I work hard to give myself more freedom to get out for these walks, to get out for my hikes, to get out for my adventures. Then you get out on these walks and you're, you're not fully soaking it up. I'm like, well, what's the point of having this time if I'm just gonna spend this time thinking about working more and doing all this stuff? Like, soak up this freaking moment. And sure enough, like as soon as I'm like, I, I use the keyword, great Scott. It's my my identity person there. Um, say, say, great Scott, grab myself in the moment, take a deep breath. Next thing you know, bald eagle flies right in front of me. I'm like, if I had been thinking about work and all these other things, chances are I would have completely missed that bald eagle. Missing things, the magic, the wonder that is right in front of me, the stuff that means the world to me, the stuff that nourishes my soul, sets my soul on fire, I'd be missing out because I'm distracted. So um, again, focus is a big thing for me as of late, doing everything I can to be very present in the moment, giving the best of myself to each and every moment throughout the day, right? Now I'm gonna give the best of myself to this morning shake, savoring every sip of this, nourishing my body. And they, this is how I thrive as well. Like starting my day with this shake, it, it doesn't sit in my stomach, it's, it's somewhat light, loaded with nutrients. So we've got one cup of homemade kefir in here, one cup of unsweetened vanilla cashew milk, an ass load of spinach, a banana, a scoop of whey protein powder, and a tablespoon of premium raw black maca powder from the maca team. Link down below in the description to optimize your male hormone health. So all of these things help me thrive throughout the day. It's providing me with nutrient rich fuel to perform my best throughout the day. And again, I don't like anything too heavy in my stomach, so um, it just sits, it, it's perfect for my first meal of the day, especially after a fantastic walk like we just had. So I'm gonna savor this, get back to work, I gotta get into the Jack at the 40 Club, communicate, engage, that's another way I thrive throughout the day, engaging with my fellow bros in the Jack at the 40 Club, that's what sets my soul on fire more than anything. I absolutely love being of service to my fellow men over 40. On to meal number two, my pre-workout meal. This is basically what I have each and every day. Uh, four free range eggs from my friend's local farm, some mixed veggies with some pink Himalayan salt and ground black pepper on top, two third cup of oats, 140 grams of frozen mixed berries. Now typically I'll put in some black maca powder or the morning motivator from the maca team in here, uh, mix it in. But as I mentioned last week in the Jack Death for Life vlog, uh, I'm gonna do a little experiment where I'm in incorporating more of the uh, maca extract in here. It's more potent, it uh, absorbs quickly into your uh bloodstream, I guess you could say. You, you put it under your tongue, you let it sit there for 30 seconds. It tastes phenomenal. I freaking love the flavor of the maca extract. Uh, some people don't necessarily enjoy the flavor of the maca powders. It's got a bit of an earthy flavor to it, so this is freaking awesome. So I'm taking the tricolor um, with my second meal. I'm gonna do that little experiment. So the black maca powder with the morning shake, uh, tricolor, uh, extract here, so it's a blend of the yellow, ble uh, black, and red maca powder. And then I'm heading out the door after this, I'll get my workout in at my parents' house, so I'm gonna bring the red uh, maca extract with me there. The black maca, uh, black maca is great for optimizing our male hormone health. The red maca is great for our prostate health. So um, that's something my dad is um, keeping his eye on right now, so I wanna make sure I'm keeping an eye on my prostate health um, as well. So. Um, again, when it comes to a nutrient-rich meal like this, how I thrive, how I perform my best in the gym is the pre-workout nutrition. So the morning shake that got me started and now having some quality fuel in me that's going to sustain my energy throughout the workout. And this, by the time this is all digested, this will be what my body will be using to repair my muscles after the workout, to help them uh, rebuild and grow hopefully grow, <laughs> is, 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 is uh, what I'm looking for there. So um, again, meal number two, this is how I thrive in my day. One other thing while I'm enjoying this second meal of the day, uh, and before Chief gets too mad at me down there, he's, uh, eggs is his uh, favorite meal of the day as well. Uh, another way I thrive is by 
chewing my food more than I did before. Really, I mean, that's where most of the digestive process, a lot of the digestive process takes place. It should begin in the mouth. Most of it like inhaling our food. So thoroughly chewing it and savoring every freaking bite. Um, just getting the most, it's gonna help me get the most. If you're breaking down the food in your mouth, it's gonna help you absorb more of these nutrients rather than just pass through. I've gotta keep my eye on this guy. <laughs> Look at him. So yes. Chew your food more, savor every bite, just as I'm savoring every sip of the morning breakfast shake. Just finished a fantastic shoulder and arm workout here in my parents' basement. I'm gonna play some footage from that as I talk about how I thrive in the gym while I'm working out, how I bring, give the best of myself to each and every workout. Like what does the best version of me do when I'm training. Number one, try my best. And it's a little bit difficult when you're recording your workouts. It can be a little bit distracting. I try not to get distracted by social media or text messages or flip through emails or anything like that. I try to get lost in the music, lost in the moment. I just give the best of myself to each set. So I'm not for the first two sets, I mean, just knowing that I'm gonna be stopping well short of failure, just kind of greasing the groove, just getting the movement pattern down, just getting a feel for the iron in my hands, the weight that I'm about to lift, and then last set, best set. I usually gauge on the previous workouts the weight I lifted for that target rep range, but I don't get stuck on that, like I don't get stuck in my mind, I've got to beat that rep, I gotta beat that weight, I just give the best of myself to that set, so I may exceed uh, those reps, sometimes I may not, but as long as I give the best of myself to that last set, and I'm not afraid to get a little bit sloppy on those last couple of reps. So like the last two, three reps are not gonna look the same as the first two to three reps. The tempo is gonna slow down a little bit as I struggle. I may finish with a bit of partial rep there and that's all good as long as I'm uh, doing so in a smart way. I'm not grinding it out. I'm not putting any extra strain on the joints, the tendons, um, just, safe way, that's where I think that the partials really come into hand. Um, other things, I mean, calling, not being afraid to call, audibles, calling audibles during work, if I'm just not feeling a certain exercise, if it just bothers me a bit, I'm not afraid to swap an exercise out, add something else in there. I'm not afraid to go with a higher rep, lighter weight, uh, if I'm just not feeling like I got the strength for that workout. And sometimes calling an audible like we are right now in a lockdown and having to completely change up, got the same workout structure and everything, but I have to change the exercise based on the available equipment I have right now and an audible today was I was supposed to work out with uh, one of my old workout partners Paul and uh, he gave me a shout out this morning saying he had uh, woke up with a fever and some chills so um, I had to stay away from him and back here I am my parents basement we got to hopefully back in the gym next week it's supposed to open up on Monday but yeah that is basically when I'm catch myself tempted to flip through social media check what's going on on Instagram or whatever um, in the middle of workout I guess Scott stop take a deep breath refocus get in the moment here this is what's most important this is my time this is kind of I don't want to say it's not therapy or anything, but it's it's important time to me and and I can't waste away any second of it. I got to be present in the moment, give the best of myself to it, and then I can get on with the day. So, hope you enjoyed this training footage. Going to get outside for a walk in the woods. Here you coming, 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 dad, 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 dad. Chief and I are back home, winding down for the day. He is tuckered out down there. So, a little recap after the workout, went for a walk through the woods with my parents uh, to check in on the owls, see what they're up to. Now, being out in nature is definitely where I thrive. Uh, but much like in my morning walks, um, I can allow myself to get distracted out there and get caught thinking about work and caught thinking about other things. Um, and I really found myself like this past Sunday when I was walking through the woods with them. There's a nice snow fall, like you see the snow on the, the tree branches and everything. And I'm like, you know what, forget it. I'm gonna put my phone away and, uh, and try to be very, very present in the moment. Because once again, being present in the moment and really soaking in all the nature, that's what makes it so 
soul nourishing for me. Uh, it is how I thrive is when I am just very present in the moment. So, so the best version of me puts the phone away uh, and just soaks it all in. And I had my camera with me, uh, the camera that I'm recording this video on. I did have my phone with me, but I put the phone away uh, after just recording a quick little, again, like whenever I'm recording my workouts or recording stuff, it's always a little bit of a distraction, recording the meals in the morning and stuff. Pulling out the phone to record that is a bit of a distraction. The good thing is I don't do that all the freaking time. Um, so I just, I found during that walk, I was just really, really grounded and really soaking it all in. And so like we've been watching the, uh, the owls mating for the past two weeks and it's like, I get my camera set up and everything and we think we're looking at the female and it's gonna be, the male's gonna come mount her on this branch and, but then they swoop in and they end up going on a different branch and a tree is blocking my view for the, the camera's view, so I've just been able to watch it with the naked eye. I couldn't get my camera set back on, on point uh, to catch it because it just lasts like five to 10 seconds. So Sunday, when I was very present in the moment, the owls were moving, but they moved and they just, they gave me just enough time to readjust my camera and I caught them in action mating this time. Finally, after all these times we've seen them mating, to actually catch it on video and get some really good video footage of them, uh, it was just freaking magical. And I do think it had a lot to do with me being, being very connected, very in tune, very present in the moment. Um, it was just an awesome, awesome freaking experience. So. I thrive being out in nature, which is why I love it. I'm not out there to burn calories and do anything. It's just, it's there because I freaking love it. It's, it sets my soul on fire. But in order to do that, the best version of me is very present in the moment and doesn't allow myself to be distracted. So a lot of times I'll go in there without my phone uh, just to make sure that I am very present in the moment. I did want to bring my camera out there because I, I really did want to catch them in action and <laughs> see that, uh, finally catch those videos or get some great pictures of them. Uh, so after the walk, I uh, had dinner, and for dinner it was a salmon pinwheel, a spinach in the, in the middle there, uh, crab stuffed mushroom cap, and my mom made some scalloped potatoes. I haven't scalloped potatoes in ages. Absolutely freaking delicious. Had a salad on the side there. Uh, very, very light dressing. So that is all I ate for the day. So just three square meals and it suited me just fine. So that's it. Another aspect of how I thrive in life is every once in a while just having a couple of days where you eat light. In a calorie deficit, not for the sake of trying to lose fat or lose weight or anything, but just give your digestive system a break. Give it a little bit of a rest there. And I don't think I would... I'm not one to do intermittent fasting or like a 24 hour fast or anything. I may, may consider doing it in the future, but right now just eating a little bit lighter for a few days, I think is even for a week eating just a little bit lighter is um, I think good for us overall, even when we're just maintaining or in a gentle surplus, just having those little diet breaks, uh, not diet break, but a break from just eating um, is a good thing. So, and I thrive from company. I thrive from family. Now the best version of me would put the phone away, uh, not allow myself to be distracted in any way, shape or form, be very present. I don't always talk, like I'm a quiet observer at times and I'll say something when I wanna to contribute to the conversation or I actually have something of value to contribute to the conversation. Otherwise I just like listening, being intent. Um, so yeah, I try for the most part to put my phone away. Again, today recording the video of the meal and. Um, I had it on the table just for a brief moment and then I'm like, I've got to put this away on the countertop. Ideally not even have it in the room is best. Um, but yeah, just engaging, That's but like people, family, friends, uh, I think that's been the toughest part about this lockdown and just all the different lockdowns throughout the past two years is just um, not having, having times, periods where there's, I'm not getting touch, human touch. Um, and physical interaction, uh, it, can, it can be a challenge at times. So I definitely thrive from engagement. I thrive from connection. I thrive from touch, all that stuff. So um, I think that's, and I just did, so after that, came home, did some yoga. I am thriving from yoga. I am freaking thriving from yoga. That really um, loosened me up, another hip and glute uh, slow stretch today. 
Uh, inner thighs are feeling loosened up, hips are feeling loosened up, glutes are feeling loosened up. I am just thriving from yoga. I'm so glad I've incorporated that into my lifestyle. It's been absolutely, it's been a game changer for me. I am hooked. Um, it'll be nice to practice in a studio at some point, but I'm still learning. I still got a lot of loosening up that I want to do. Um, and now I'm going to get ready to call it a night and listen to my meditation audio. I love listening to the Paziz app. I've got a great, um, I'm listening to, I think it's like a mountain type background noise. Um, very restful, peaceful um, voice that just allows me to relax into a deep sleep. So sleep is everything to me. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, that is how I thrive. So this whole wind down routine of yoga, um, usually just chilling, just pet and chief, just hanging out and then listening to the meditation audio. Um, that is what is working wonders for me. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please do me a favor, smash that thumbs up button. More than anything, I'd love to hear from you down in the comment section below. Let me know how you thrive in life. What does the best version of you do throughout the day to allow you to get the most enjoyment out of the day? Um, before you go, don't forget to download your free guide, Jack After 40. If you know a fellow bro would benefit from watching today's video, please do me a favor and share it with them. Have yourself an amazing day. Catch you next video.